Hey guys, it's Katie Did here, and I am back with another review for you guys today. So, today I'm going to be reviewing the Oil Painting Pad by US Art Supply. They generously sent this to me to review. Uh, I reached out to them, so just a disclaimer for that. Let's kind of just hop right into it and talk about the product. So, according to this, it is acid-free, it has a neutral pH, natural white sheets, they are glue-bound for easy removal. It has a standard weight and versatile paper made for the oil painting artist, designed to hold up well with all oil paints and mixed media users. It is 9 by 12 and 90 pounds, which also equals 190 GM, so that's a plus. Now, I was kind of looking at it earlier, and I'm gonna hold this up. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. I don't know. It's very textured. There, there you go. You can see it. And I really like the feel of it. It has a very nice, smooth feel to it. Um, I definitely hope this holds up to some oil paint because I'm going to be testing it out to see. I'm going to test out a couple techniques. I think I'm going to try some impasto, impasto. I still have no idea how to say that word. And I am also going to just be doing some traditional, like, with a brush painting. So we'll just see how well this holds up. I mean, it seems like it's not going to because 90 pounds is not very thick. For oil paint considering oil paint's a lot heavier on anything than say watercolor and even watercolor has at least 140 pounds so we'll test that out i can't wait to kind of see how this goes now the sheets i'm going to be testing on are not going to be on the full 9 by 12 I'm, i cut it into a smaller rectangle so it'll be a little bit easier for me to kind of test it out get a feel for it without using a whole sheet of paper because if i really like it I don't want to waste a sheet of paper just kind of like being all stupid, but if I don't like it, there's a sheet of paper that I wasted, you know what I mean? So this will be around the size of what I will be doing. Um, so let's kind of get into the illustration and I will voice over some more facts and how I felt about it after I used it. So I will see you there. Alrighty guys, so I had a lot of fun using this paper. I was pleasantly surprised that it held up as well as it did to the oil paint. I will put in a picture though of how the oil soaked through a little bit. It didn't damage anything and it wasn't really a bad thing. It was just probably because I used a lot of impasto techniques and those are pretty heavy once you apply lots of layers of paint. So I'm not really surprised that it soaked through. I was just kind of testing the boundaries of the paint. For anything that's very like thin layered, one to two layers, it's not going to be that big of a deal. This is actually really good paint or paper for that. I will suggest do not do a final picture on this paper. I feel like this paper is more geared to practicing your painting techniques. And when you get this pad of paper, I'm not really sure if maybe it was just the one I got or if they're all like this, but be careful when you rip it out because I gently ripped mine out and it ripped paper pretty badly. And it was, it was just really glued in there, probably a little bit too much. But other than those things, I really had fun using this paper. If you would like to purchase this, I will leave a link down in the description below, as well as a link to US Art Supplies website, because they're awesome. I really hope you liked this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this painting. Did you like it? Do you want me to do more oil paint? I would really, I really want to know if you want me to do more oil painting, because I'm just kind of getting into it, but I think it would be fun maybe to share my experience with you guys. You can follow me on DeviantArt, Patreon World, and Twitter. Oh, and Instagram! Yeah, that one too! My links are down in the description below. I put out a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday with two new videos, each on Friday and Tuesday, along with Thursdays right now for reviews because I just have some reviews I want to catch up on. And don't forget to subscribe to join our cute little artist family. And until next time, 